Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss some applications on galvanic cells. A voltaic cell can be primary or secondary. In this video we are going to discuss the primary cells. And in the next videos we will discuss the secondary types. Primary cells are not rechargeable and are discarded after they run down when all the chemicals are used up. In other words, no more chemical potential energy available or the chemicals in the battery can react to produce electrical energy. Here I got the illustration of what happens to the primary cell. The anode loses electrons to the cathode and both connected by a wire. Here the cell generating electrical current, but when the battery is run out of reactants and almost they all turn it into products, the cell stops working and it can't be recharged again. So here is an example on primary cell, which is dry cell. Dry cell battery is a voltage producing battery containing the electrolyte chemical in the form of a thick paste. It produces voltages of about 1.5 volts. In this diagram, which represents the parts of a dry cell battery, the zinc casing provides enclosing to the electrolyte and the cathode as a whole. Ammonium chloride is the electrolyte used in this type of battery. Just ahead of the electrolyte lies a manganese dioxide separated from the electrolyte by a separator. At the center of the cell battery lies a carbon rod which is the cathode. And zinc casing is, con is considered as the anode. So let's understand how it works. Every portion of the battery device has chemical reactions occurring within. While a reduction reaction occurs at the carbon electrode, oxidation proceeds at the zinc casing, which is the anode. The chemical reactions that define the entire energy process are as follows. At the anode, zinc loses two electrons and is converted into zinc 2 plus ion. The ammonium ion from ammonium chloride reacts with the two electrons to produce ammonia and hydrogen gas. The manganese dioxide near the cathode reacts with hydrogen gas liberated to form manganese 3 oxide and water. Combining equation 1 and 2, we get the following equation. And combining all the above equations, we get... Due to these reactions, chemical energy gets converted into electrical energy. This energy then flows from the battery to the connected device through the outer circuit. So guys, here is a total recap of what we've learned today. Primary cells are used once and can be recharged again.